My favorite word is fierce. <laughs> Being fierce to me means that I'm passionate about the things that I do. And so I'm passionate about my work, about my family, everything that I do. Fierce to me is also being committed. So when it came time to fight cancer, after the initial shock of everything, it was about being as fierce as possible. It was about being a fighter. In the beginning, everybody tells you, you're a warrior, you're my hero. I'm like, why? Because something went wrong genetically in my body. And it feels weird being told that, you know? But then when you go through everything and you're like, I did it. My family's everything to me. They really do make me laugh every day. It's probably by far the hardest job I've ever had. I shouldn't really say job because obviously with Bon and I being gay, we wanted this and it's just awesome. People say to me like, what's your story? And it really wasn't my story. It's Dubin's story. Because without them, I wouldn't have a story. I just showed up and they did the rest. Breast cancer is very individual, and we are going to look at each and every patient and do what's very best for them. Knowing how difficult it is to make decisions, what to tell your kids, what do you do about work, and the mission is to be able to take care of as many women as we can in the best possible way. The thing that would get me through was my daughter, and even on like days where you don't feel that great, I would look at her and I'd just be like, it's okay, it's okay, it's gonna be all right. At the Dubin Breast Center, we provide great technical care, great surgery, great medical oncology, and great science that is leading the way to improving the lives of patients with breast cancer. There's literally no other place that I am aware of that does all that in one place. Clinical trials are a way to bring the most personalized treatment to patients. We understand the biology of the cancer and we can offer them the newest biologic targeted agents to them through clinical trials and therefore offer them the best chance of hope and cure for a healthy, long and good quality life. We have done so many things totally for free to our patients. The cold cap therapy is to prevent hair loss which is incredible for a lot of patients. Treat people the way you want to be treated, and they, ex they did more so than that for me at Dubin. They treated me better than I could have ever asked. I am a physical therapist, mainly working with Broadway dancers. I worked throughout my entire treatment. I just took the days off to go to chemo. I knew that everyone at the Dubin was gonna be on my side so I could put my focus on healing and just living my best life given the situation. Dr. Harmody, I think, was the first doctor who really understood everything that I was feeling when it came to my concerns about my body's appearance. One of the most important parts of a patient's journey through breast cancer and the comprehensive care of a patient involves the reconstructive process. One of the things that's so important to us at the Dubin Center is making sure our patients get the best options for reconstruction. I don't see the scars, like I just see my body and my body is beautiful. I'm hoping that other women take from my story empowerment. Attitude can change anything. You did do that and you went through it and you're on the other side. And you went through it like a champ, like a fierce champ. The outcomes, the quality, the commitment, all these things distinguish this center from all others. What we have accomplished in just five years is nothing short of astounding.
We've now become a national model for how to deliver care to breast cancer patients. I want my kids to know that, you know what, even though you, you don't know somebody, they can still be there for you and help you out in a bad situation. The Dubin Center continues and always will be about our patients. Yes, we're celebrating being open five years, but I celebrate more the people that we've taken care of and their health and their families and their happiness and their futures. I'm just, I'm just thankful for all of them, every person there.